pay periods can be scheduled in many different ways, each impacting the amount of checks an employee receives as well as how often they are paid. But what are each of these pay schedules and which one is best? Today, I will answer these questions and more as we dive into the different types of pay periods. Now let's get started. What constitutes a pay period? A pay period is a recurring stretch of time representing the days an employee has worked and is compensated. Every business needs to determine which payroll schedule is right for their company. But it's not always that simple. Small businesses must take into account the needs of the business and the needs of their employees before making their decision. When employers weigh their options about which type of pay period to use for their team, it's important to take into account the kinds of employees they have and the cost, time, and resources they need to manage their payroll. How many types of pay periods are there? There are four common types of pay periods, monthly, semi-monthly, bi-weekly, and weekly. Monthly pay periods occur once per month on a specified recurring date. Semi-monthly pay periods occur twice a month on two specific recurring dates. Bi-weekly pay periods occur every two weeks on a specific day of the week, and weekly pay periods occur once a week on a specific day of the week. How do bi-weekly and semi-monthly differ? This is a common question that employers have as the two seem quite similar. They are in fact different and actually provide employees a different amount of checks throughout the year. Semi-monthly means that two paychecks are distributed each month. This form of payroll most often occurs on the 15th and 30th. If either of these dates falls on the weekend, paychecks are distributed on the preceding Friday. When using a semi-monthly payroll system, you will always have exactly 24 pay periods per year. The upside to this form of payroll is that benefit deduction and accounting are easier to manage. Bi-weekly involves being paid every other week, generally on Friday. This provides employees with 26 paychecks in 2023 as opposed to the 24 payouts semi-monthly. This means there will be two months out of the year where three paychecks are distributed. Bi-weekly allows for a more consistent payday and balanced pay schedule throughout the year. What payroll schedule is best? No one pays attention when you get payroll right, but it only takes one mistake to harm HR's reputation within your organization. And of course, it is crucial you remain fully compliant as well. When you consider these factors, it comes as no surprise that so many HR pros stick with the payroll practices and schedules they inherited from their predecessors. But your payroll practices should be intentional, not inherited, especially when it comes to your pay schedule. Many organizations with a mix of exempt and non-exempt employees are already on a monthly or semi-monthly pay schedule simply because it's the way it has always been. In HR, that's never a good reason to continue on with difficult measures. After some consideration, a semi-monthly schedule may seem easier for calculating benefit deductions. However, the division of deductions on a bi-weekly schedule is not nearly as complicated as it first seems. You can use one of two methods. Number one, divide your employer's annual premium by 26 and deduct that from each bi-weekly paycheck. Number two, divide monthly premiums in half and deduct that from each bi-weekly paycheck, except for the extra check for those two months with three pay dates. Though weekly works similarly, having to run payroll half as often still places bi-weekly at an overall advantage. Employees also appreciate the ability to budget with the predictability of bi-weekly paychecks. Although all of the pay schedules we've covered offer regularity, semi-monthly and monthly pay periods make it more difficult for non-exempt employees to budget when they've worked irregular hours for overtime pay. For non-exempt workers, having a more regular paycheck as well as a predictable one can offer the benefits of better spreading out payments and managing overall income. Employees also tend to enjoy the few months that offer three paychecks, which is exclusively associated with bi-weekly payment methods. That's it for this HR FAQ. If you wanna learn more HR best practices, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One and HR FAQ episodes. As always, thanks for watching.